At first I was afraid, I was petrified, thinking I could never live without you by my side. But I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong and I grew strong and I learned how to get along now you see me somebody new I'm not that same old little person still in love with you I think of all those many nights thinking how you did me wrong and I grew strong <laughs> good morning good afternoon good evening family um welcome 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 to the mental house with me your host Khadija you know, I don't know if this is the this year is starting off showing y'all and allowing us to see mental illness on a straight up scale and just how rampant it is and just how it's really a overwhelming uh project Let's sit up here and think that you can do something about it. From Nature Boy, all his little cohorts that testified in court against him. The complete the judge said that he was a complete narcissist. But it's like, judge, you probably won too. You get there to sit up there and make decisions for people's life. And if you're not a fair and balanced person, you could be just like this individual, just on a different level and a different scale. See, because what grow out of this soil in America is narcissists. We everywhere. And I'm saying we because... At one time, I would have sold my soul to be in show business. Well, I was in show business, to stay in show business. I would have continued with all the craziness and stuff that I knew was against the foundation of what my, what my upbringing was, what my father meant to me, what my mother meant to me. And I was like, you mean tell me I went from dropping out of school to pursuing this um, for this? For this? All the abuse. So we talking about 50 years ago. Y'all think Michael Jackson ain't been abused? You know, this is all the negative side. Of creativity. Because it's yin and yang and everything, right? So this is all the negative side of it. You look at Nature Boy. And you talk about how weird and crazy. And all these women that thought they was his wives. And he had them on some spiritual crazy stuff. But then you turn around and you look like. And you look at Puffy. And how he did Cassie. And then because as a society we so brain we so brain damaged pretty much this is the Babylon of the great Babylon whores that we we convince ourselves that this is normal. You'll hear, you know, some of our favorite comedians. I ain't gonna mention no names right now because I don't want it to get off the subject. Uh, trying to give advice about relationships and children when they haven't even been, how should I say, um, um, 
more than a see you on a when I see you dad or see you on a weekend dad. Most of these people that's trying to give you advice about things haven't even experienced some of the things. Okay? And so for those who have though, wait a minute, don't let me don't let me give you the other side of that. For those who have though, a lot of them become master, master, master manip manipulators. And they get, a lot of them run straight to Hollywood. Because a lot of them are very creative. But then there's also the ones that run there because they know they're talented and they just think they're going to be heard and they're going to be seen and they're innocent. And then they get there and they fall victim and prey to these type of monsters who I, I call extreme narcissists. And then you wonder why Donald Trump is so popular. Because the foundation... Anybody that can tell Europeans that they can come bring your tired and your weary and a black man designed it. <laughs> and if he, he can't even get a cup of coffee in a restaurant, then you know you're dealing with a bunch of hypocrites and they're telling you this and they got s uh, people who are going through uh, slavery, Jim Crow and all that kind of beating, lynchings, hanging, every damn thing and they justify it and they make it seem normal. And then when you complain about it and you say, I don't like this treatment, this is crazy, uh, you've been doing it to my people for, they, oh, you're a troublemaker or oh, you're a radical. And you think you cannot continue to mess with people's mind like that and think that you can't turn out Puffy's, uh, Epstein, Nature Boy. I mean, that's what comes out of the soil. Unless, unless. They, their true divinity makes it its way through. You know? Um, and a lot of people never get to see the divine of themselves. And I don't mean it like nature boy. Because, see, he even if you was dealing with his philosophy, you already know once you start putting people's personal, intimate um, aesthetics on the damn internet, then you already know ain't no God in it. That y'all cult, like the same cult that follow Umar Johnson, this man begging for donations, 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 and he's sitting in front of a damn slot machine. We are a country of followers, narcissists, and a lot of us are so codependent that we think this is normal. That's why you got to get somewhere and power down. Power down. <laughs> America is a narcissist country. So for the judge to say that, that in itself was gracious. Look at Lord Lauren Bobert trying to give you the model of a, a a great family, a Republican. They bullshit. Look at just look at that. And she's sitting in the theater giving somebody a hand job. Her son is 18 years old. He's already a parent, a single parent, and they just arrested him and charged him with. Stealing from old people, stealing all kind four four felonies, seventeen misdemeanors. But she's trying to give you family values. See the narcissism in it. And once this country as a whole begin to deal with that part of it, then you gonna realize that everybody you run into is 
got a narcissist, uh, cystic personality. The thing is, how far do, do it go? Y'all like to call it arrogance and uh, uh, this. No, it's a mental illness. You can't grow up in this kind of damn society and watch all the mayhem and slavery and all this. And I'm just talking about America. Those other countries, what? That's a whole nother uh, uh, country. I mean, um, video for another day. But the root of it is gonna be the same. Just not out there that bad for the great Babylon, like the great Babylon whore. So all I want to say to Puffy, Nature Boy, Umar Johnson, all y'all. Oh, I forgot. Tiffany Henyard. Tiffany. Tahoe fucking Tiffany. Who would get on with Roland Martin, like I said, did a video before. Didn't, he didn't do it. He always want to question everybody else and get to uh, bring up the facts. But you going to have this fur head on there and don't do no research on her and let her get up there and lie about shit that you can go on the internet and just rebuff. What's your problem? What's your uh, jig? Because I'm going to tell you, Negro, it's up. It's up. And this this is too crazy. This woman that ran through the the, the all the money of Dalton. <laughs> working on she the Thornton Township leader. She think working on their funds, breaking their asses down. And she a jailbird. And all she do, she's a psychopath, a sociopath. And we accept it. We voted her ass in there. When she was doing, and as, uh, we, we love it. Black folks, oh, we love narcissism. We love the crazy part of it. Oh, she cool, she cool. She just with the young people. Look at her, she she young, she do. We like, that's not, that's not protocol, though. I don't want my mayor out here pussy popping. That's what y'all want for the mayor? I don't want that. To me, that represents foolery. It don't represent getting some business done. That's what it represents to me. Now, y'all might not like what I say, because I'm sure. But I got to say it. Somebody got to say it. We are in a narcissist country. Producing narcissistic people who are, and you got a, a fascist of them so broke that once once the narcissists get a hold to their mentality and their structural foundation, it's a wrap. And this ain't nothing new. Okay? So most of y'all have to just come to grips with finding out what narcissism really is. What our personality disorders. I don't care if you get you a DSM book. Um, I don't, but all you gotta do is look at the shit that go on in our community that we've normalized. And then look at some of the villages from different places. They don't have to be a starving poor village. But look at some of the other countries and some of the other um, people and how they see themselves and how they see humanity. Puffy, Tiffany, Nature Boy, Umar Johnson, it's, it's going to be a special place for y'all asses. But what I realized is God allows the sun to shine on you as well as me. But one day your 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 um good thing is gonna come to an end. That I guarantee you. So with that being said, I'm gonna go. If you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe, please share my channel, and I will see you in the next video.